Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of June, end of June, end of July reading. I don't know why I said June, but whatever. End of July. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Keep in mind that if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay, simple as that. Somebody has been holding on to something, um, holding a grudge even, stubborn, stubbornly holding on. But with that Five of Cups reversed, you may be going through a recovery of some sort. Maybe you're beginning to realize the truth of a situation of what you're holding on to. You're beginning to realize something. Oh, okay. Have no fear. Have no fear. Move forward. Keep going. Don't quit. Maybe you're feeling like independence is the best route. <laughs> You know, this is the best route for me. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to take care of business. The abundance comes with the, from within. This is self-love, self-worth, abundance. This can also be money. You could be uh, coming up, you know, you could be getting an inheritance or um, a lump sum of money that's coming in or a pay raise or that check you've been waiting for. Whatever this is, this is abundance. But this is, this is abundance that is usually earned. Okay, you've earned it. And you know, you guys are looking really good at this time too because you're working on yourselves. And there's that King of Swords, Queen of Cups reversed. Now, you guys could be dealing with a naysayer. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is bringing you down. Bringing you down, 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 down. This person is a naysayer. They don't have anything good to say. Pessimistic. Uh, misery loves company. You know, I'm down. Why don't you come on with me? Okay? This could be any sign. Okay? So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is judgmental. They probably think they know it all. They have a victim mentality. And, you know, they probably are testing you. They're testing you. So just keep that in mind. My, one of my things is wobbly. But I think we will be okay. I don't want to mess with it right now. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So... Somebody is making a decision, making a, a decision to perhaps move on, to move, to, to take action, to get moving. Somebody is making a decision to get moving. Definitely, there's definitely some movement coming in. And this is the decision has been made, decision has been made. You guys are making a decision, perhaps to communicate how you really feel or to find happiness or you guys have made the decision it feels like perhaps to go your own way or work on yourself or put yourself first something like that you're realizing the truth of a situation you've received some sort of clarity you have you're being logical you've held on to something for quite some time for dear life but it feels like at this point you're like, you know, I don't, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid and I can't let you bring me down anymore. I can't. I can't let you bring, you, bring me down. I'm ready to go have some fun. I'm ready to, to put myself where I need to be, bring joy to my life. So I feel like you guys are probably rejoicing with your independence. It's like I love, if you're independent, if you're single, you're loving it. You're loving it. If you're single, you may be deciding to date, to be more playful, to go out and have fun. You may be deciding to do that. But I feel like you guys are realizing the truth about somebody that you've been dealing with that was a Debbie Downer. You were dealing with a Debbie Downer and you're like, you know what? See ya. Adios. Other people see that you are... 
in a very bright. They see that you're very intellectual. They see that you know what you're doing. Okay, this is how other people see you. Other people see that you're very decisive. That they may think that you're a little cold. Other people may think, oh, is that you're, you're that person's cold. But it's not that you're cold. You're wise. You've been wisened up the hard way. Okay. Your challenge is to have fun. Allow yourself to get out there and have fun, Aries. Okay. You have made. You have enough funds. Okay. Okay. You do. You may not think that you do, but you do. Enjoy it. Go enjoy yourself. That's your challenge. Go enjoy yourself. Don't let this person that's a downer keep you there. Kick them to the curb. I feel like, yeah, you guys are moving on. You guys are moving very forward here uh, fearlessly. There's like no fear. No fear. Okay. You guys are headed in the right direction very quickly, and I think that if anybody gets in the way, they could get run over. I feel like you guys are, you guys could be traveling, you could be um, scheduling travel, or you're just, you have a plan, and you're, and you're moving forward. It's like, you know, don't get in my way, because if you get in my way, tough shit. That kind of energy. And I know that you, some people are watching this will be like, oh, no, I don't say that. Well, I do. Okay. This is success. You guys are taking action to bring success to your life. And there's no stopping you. At this point, the end of July, Aries, there's nobody that can stop you from doing what you want to do. You are headed forward quickly with no looking back. It's like, you know, I'm moving. There's mental strength here, stamina, willpower, discipline. Get the hell out of my way. Don't get in my way. It's like you guys are, are on the move. You are. You're on the move. It's like, God forbid somebody step on your toes. You ain't looking back. It's over. It's over. Whoever this person was that was bringing you down, maybe you were committed to them. Maybe they have a really big ego. You know, maybe at one time you thought they were wish fulfillment, but they don't have a lot, a lot of integrity. The person that you're dealing with or you were dealing with, maybe you're still married to them. I don't know. You were married to them or you were committed to them or whatever. You thought they were going to bring you happiness. They're a goddamn pessimist liar. They don't even tell the truth. They don't have any focus. They don't have any goals. They don't have any energy. It's like they, they, they live in a state of um, flying by the seat of their pants. You know, they don't even have the same mindset as you. They don't have any focus. They don't have any concentration. They just are like, oh, where's the common sense here? You know, whoever you, this person is, they lack the same ideals, ethics, whatever, as you. And I think that's why you're moving on. It's like, see ya. And I don't know where this is coming from. I feel like you guys are headed towards a lot brighter future, a brighter happiness. And maybe that involves removing yourself from this commitment that you were in. Because I see independence here. I see a lot of independence. Somebody is really focused on themselves and doing quite well focusing on themselves. There's been a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights over this person that you were dealing with. I don't know if it was a child or a, or a friend or a spouse or whatever. You've been worried about leaving them behind. But the fact of the matter is, for you to be successful, for you to find victory and to progress to where you need to be, you don't need to, you don't need to bring this person with you that isn't putting in any effort, isn't doing anything to help you. You know, all they're doing is causing you stress. All they're doing is causing you worry. So I feel like you are probably deciding, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on my home. I'm going to focus on me. And I'm not really going to focus on you. I'm going to focus on my success at this time. And I feel like that's the wisest decision, okay? The, the, it's a wise decision to focus on your stability, your security, your um, 
your own responsibilities. Sometimes you gotta nurture yourself. Sometimes you gotta come down to reality. You gotta get grounded. You gotta do what's right for you. To bring abundance to your life. So I think this is a, the end of July is focused on, a lot on your money. It's focused a lot on your business, a lot on your career, a lot on yourself. You know, I think that you guys are looking toward towards victory and success of your, perhaps your own legacy. And I don't even need the legacy card. You know, you're working on you and that comes from within. When you work on your inner self, everything else falls into place and that's what I see. I feel like you guys have gained a lot of strength and a lot of courage and you're using that courage to move forward. A lot of confidence here this week. You guys are probably soaring above many others. You're at the you're like vibrating at a very high level. You are you're thinking very positively. You know, you have a lot of self-confidence, a lot of self-esteem this week. I think that you are probably very um Oh, I can't think of the word for it. You know, your ability to face your fears, any fears, unstoppable. You're unstoppable. I think I already said this, but that just came to my mind. You're unstoppable. I love it. It's like you're very determined to reach the top. Determined to keep going, not give up. Holding on to your stance. You guys have a lot of strength. A lot. And it shows with the, with the Chariot card, the Nine of Wands card, and the Strength card. You guys are super strong. This is like, like I said, you're unstoppable. There's no pushing you over the edge this week. It's like, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm out of here. I'm leaving this situation that doesn't fulfill me. I'm headed towards victory and success. I'm, I'm moving forward very, very quickly. I have no fear. There is no fear here. None. There's your legacy card. I was talking about it. Even though it's reversed. Somebody is working on their legacy. They're working on their abundance. They're working on their stability because you are dealing with a person who brought you backwards. There's been financial losses, and now you got to recuperate. Either a person or a situation. You know, something has cost a lot of money. Maybe it was a, something in your home. I don't know. Maybe you had to move. I don't know what it was. But now you got to recuperate. In order to recuperate, somebody needs to get the hell out of the way. So I feel like you guys have had a lot of uh, attention. There's been some power struggles. There may have even been some competition that you were dealing with. But it feels it feels like, you know what? I don't have the energy to compete. I mean, I don't have the energy to... Well, let me rephrase this. Okay, I got to re 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 rephrase that. <laughs> and I don't ever stutter. This is these power struggles, this tension, these games have stolen my energy long enough. That's what this is. You were dealing with somebody who brought you backwards. That's what this is. You were. This is you. Lack of energy, lack of drive, lack of confidence lack of self-esteem, lack of passion, lack of focus. This is what this is. This is you in reverse. Dealing with another person. There's two people here that you were that, that you were going back and forth with. And what that was doing was it was it was like stealing your passion, stealing your energy and bringing you backwards financially as well because it, when somebody steals your energy, you can't focus on your job, you can't focus on your career, you can't focus on your business. So you were dealing with somebody, whether you're this person is in your life or in your mind, you were dealing with a situ with, a, with like an energy thief. This energy thief is like now being cut out. I see like they're being trampled on. It's like, you know what? 
you take your you go ahead take what you got get the hell out and if you come back you're gonna get hurt something like that it's like you know what I don't need I don't need to be living in this state of mind just because you're a naysayer and you're pessimistic and you want and misery loves company don't bring me with you yeah I think you guys are moving on you're moving on from this energy thief that you've been dealing with if you were stepping outside it's like you know I'm not gonna be trapped here you guys have been trapped in a state of mind for quite some time but I don't think that's happening anymore because I see that you guys have no fear at this point. I feel like you guys were trapped mentally in a spot of lack, lack of drive, lack of ambition. But I think this happened because you were dealing with somebody who took you down with them. And people do that. Somebody took your energy down with them. You know, think of a psychic vampire. Okay? That's kind of like what this is. Somebody stole your energy. They stole your mojo. Caused some mental conflict, some mental turmoil. Brought you backwards in your career, in your business, and whatever it was. In your money situation. And now you're like, hell no. See ya. Goodbye. Time for me to come back to the top. It's time for me to rise up. So I think you guys are absolutely rising up. You're finding the strength, the courage, the confidence, the willpower to go right back up, right back to the top, like right back. It's like I've wasted too much time on you turning my back on that. I realize that if I want my future to be bright, I have to take action. And there you are, back on top. Okay? You go from being down in the dumps to back on top, vibrating very highly, high vibration, um, successful. So I think that this is a week where things shift just like that, where you, you come right back into your element, right back to the top, and people are seeking you out. People are probably seeing this change, okay? It's so drastic, this change. It is. This change is so drastic that people are seeing it. They're going to see your vibrancy. They're going to see your attractiveness. You're going to call them closer to you. People are going to be drawn to you. Um, and it's because you persevered. It's because you didn't give up in this time of... of oh, oh, uh... Lack. For the lack of a better word. I have a word, but... Some people won't like it, so I'm not going to say it. I think that you guys are moving away from a difficult situation, and you're picking yourself right back up. We're going to get you one of these. It's a great week. Is it a week of, of new love? No, I think it's a week of independence, working on your finances, recovering what has been lost. On the, in, self, on the inside and the outside, that's what this is. This is, this, is inner, this is inner love, inner abundance, and outer abundance, and that's what you're working on right now. You're working on yourself. Congratulations. Number one. And that's how it's supposed to be. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. <laughs> like I said earlier in this reading, self-love. When you have that, everything else falls into place. And if I didn't say it, I should have. And that's what this is. Self-love is the ultimate abundance. And I think that is what this is. So I feel like this is the end of July. You guys are going to do like a complete 180. A complete 180 from being down in the dumps, you know, with that Mars retrograde from feeling like at war with yourself, mentally conflicted, you know, the whole nine yards where it was like, oh shit, life is about to end, you know, that kind of thing to renewal, complete renewal, healing, renewal, 100% 180. Flirt. And this could signify flirting as well. I see that, yeah, things are changing drastically. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Allow yourself to be playful during this time. And I think you are going to feel more playful because of that self-love, that self-abundance, you know, because you're back. You're back. 
congratulations. Talk to you later.